Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome back to another episode of Scratches, the director's cut. We are here, hiding out in the kitchen with not much to do and feeling rather confused. Now, I'm pretty sure you're all shouting at me to at least try uh, this uh, come end of last episode and I just didn't think about it. We have this Italian letter, right? Um, and we need to do something about it. Obviously we've got an envelope so we want to be able to post it, but we haven't got an address on the envelope. We did... However, see an uh, um, a postcard with an address, so maybe we remember it? So maybe we should try that? Oh. No point in writing an address on until I have something to mail. Well, we've got this. To mail. I certainly need some help with the letter, but who should I have it mailed to? Well, we know this. Um, okay, well that didn't work. I thought it might, but alas, no. What do we have in here? Um, uh, uh, tells of gruesome murder. Okay, gold mine. I found an article regarding the murder Jerry told me about. The situation was vague. Uh, okay, I managed to reveal the letter that, like, um, that likely Eva Mariani wrote. It's in Italian. I must find a way to translate it as I'm dying to know its contents. Oh, okay, we need to translate it first. And Mariani, the maid, was the one in here that left to take photos. Right, so one can possibly assume that there is some means of uh, translating it here. This is where we found it, over here, and I've got Skittles just going all crazy on my lap here. Um, bunch of un uninteresting books, and here are some pictures of, of things, of a squirrel, that's right, a lovely squirrel. Um, were there anything in here? Practical photographer, doesn't look like it now. I must make a small confession, just a little one. Uh, feeling rather stumped. I, uh, and, and I don't want to waste your time, you know, obviously, because uh, there, there are things that need to be done. I did take a sneak peek at a walkthrough for this game, and I must say, some of the things in there are rather obscure. I didn't read much, I didn't read much. I just uh, had a look to see where, round about where we are and what, um, what we should have done by now, if that makes any sense. And there was one thing that I discovered which we have not yet uh, found, which is up in the very top, in the sort of the attic. So let's go quickly go get that, and that might open up a world of possibilities. I did not read further than that, I promise. So I'm still pretty much going by my own logic here yeah. um, but we'll see where that takes us anyway I hope you're doing well hope you are having a fantastic time fantastic day and uh, and yeah um, I'd need to thank you get further up here and I need this cat off my lap because it's it's just causing distractions all right in here in here no skittles stay in here apparently is a metal bar near the toilet that we should be able to pick up most of the planks scattered through third floor were dirty and brittle there I thought it was in here maybe it's the next room it's one of these rooms one of these rooms there's a there's a little summer sun a metal pole apparently by some bricks is it those bricks was these bricks because here's a bunch of wooden planks um, what about here I'm not see I'm not I'm not seeing anything if there is anything Let's get a bit closer just a pile of old bricks hmm Interesting. What about this side? Amount of trash. Here's some bricks. It said here. It said. It said somewhere. There's a pole, a metal pole, by some bricks, I in these rooms. And uh, oof, uh, yeah, I I'm not really finding it. Because they said you pick it up and then you come and use the metal pole on that cooker. I don't know why you'd want to whack the cooker with a metal pole. Planks.
is these bricks over here just a pile of old bricks I don't know if it's because maybe oh oh wait oh look no it's just a pile ah look at that that is so obscure I would never have found that Oh, that's one of these things I hate about these point-and-click adventures. They hide these things in places you just would never find. Okay, so we've got a little... Looks like a little... It's a 90-degree angle cranky thing. Small metal rod I just found. Okay, so... This is this is all I've read, really. I need to use this thing on that stove. And now we're back to square one, <laughs> basically. Uh, in that I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing now. Let's take this. That was pointless. Maybe I'm supposed to... Oh, you see, over here. Look at this. It's one of these. It's one of the arms. Ah, so we can now maybe put on a... a uh, Like a pan or something and now rest on top of that. He said try the matches and it will just say, I don't have anything. There we go. Don't want to waste my matches. Exactly. So that was one thing that we missed. Um, I don't have any others, unfortunately, for you. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Um... What about these these wooden things here? I'm just now paranoid that I'm just missing things because I'm I'm uh, not clicking in the right place at the right time. See, like this, it's confusing because it picks up those two. But but anyway, um, so we're still we're still back at square one. We want to be able to translate this letter. The best places, in my opinion, to be able to do that is either one my bedroom, two. The maid's room, which we have already been to and uh, had no luck. Or three, the study downstairs. Somewhere in there is possibly a book that will help us translate. We can pop into our room, but I, I doubt it. I highly doubt there's anything in here that will help us. Um, we do have a couple books and things around. And my typewriter, I don't really feel like writing still. What is this? Um, the ending. Have to come up with a suitable ending. The final twist was the part celebrated, uh, the most. Oh, sorry, the most celebrated aspect of VT. They will tear me apart if I don't pull off another thing like that. But how? 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 I'm up to the point where Steve goes mad. She is confused. The visions are becoming real. So now we know for sure there's a supernatural element in the story. Wait, is that really so? Question is, does it have anything to do with the creepy old lady or not? Would it be too obvious if her powers were real after all? Big, big question. Would people accept it if the solution to the story is unreal? Damn, why am I trying to please everybody here? No. Uh, Deus Ex Machina? Deus Ex Machina? I don't know what that means. Um, on the other hand, a realistic solution disguised as supernatural. Is that possible? They are expecting something like that. Uh, uh, a real... And probable outcome. That's what they love about VT. Bloody hell, this is driving me insane. Me too, chap. Me too. Anything else here? Hourglass? Now, who at home still has the typewriter? I'm curious. If you have one lying around, maybe in a box, maybe in an attic somewhere. Um, I... Where did I have one? I saw one. Once. I... Phew, I, don't, I, phew, phew, I, I don't know. I don't know where it was. But there was one. Somewhere. But they're very hard to come by these days. Probably collector's things. Antiques and all, you know? I've got no books here, maybe, to help with the translation. There's my old suitcase. Is there anything else in here? Uh, see, there's Barbara's number. We've got Jerry's number here. To Michael, London. You see, okay, this is, I think, what I thought I saw. Uh, this is the letter from Jerry. And... Michael Arthrait. Vanishing Town. Oh, that's VT. Vanishing Town. Alright. I can't take my toothbrush. It's unfortunate. I might need to brush my teeth. Although, the load game says it's only 1pm in the afternoon. And it looks like time ticks on uh, based on uh, the things you complete. The, the So, if we find nothing and wander around for like 10 hours here, time's not going to move. It's only going to get triggered once uh, we sort of uh, complete certain tasks. And progress the story. Okay, so let's have a quick look in the study here. Maybe there's something to help us with the uh, the translation. Now, we're looking for maybe some sort of dictionary. Um, 
I think there could be a book somewhere, a huge collection. Of, I bet you it's like one of these books obscurely hidden away. And we would never find it unless we have it like this. Look at this one. Though, the grasshopper lies heavy by hort something. So they are, that one is specific. Ah, oh, at the Mountain of Madness, uh, is she last craft? Ah, the previous folks had a taste, no question about that. And then these I assume are like boring books. Yeah, these are all boring. Those two stood out for some reason. What is the chance that one of these books opens up a, um, a secret passageway? I wouldn't put it past these people. Uh, it's all just a huge collection of books. That one? No? Okay, so it's just this one? Is it of interest? That one? No, that one is of interest for some reason. And then this one? No? No, not that one. It's only those two. For some other reason. Or of, of any interest to us whatsoever. Um... Can I get over here? Okay, this was that long ass story, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. You know what? Oh my, that's a, that, that's a bit of a poor form there. You can't exit a, st uh, a thing once you've uh, opened it. You actually have to click through every page. It's a bit of an annoyance. Let's get out of there. What about these ones? Uh, two years, uh, can't do anything with any of those. And what about this side? It was locked. But none of these keys will get us in there. Maybe maybe using a, a thing like this to pick it? Nothing to pick up there. The coins. We, we picked something out of there, I remember. Old cigars and... Nothing of interest there. Um, well, it doesn't look like there's any... Any means of translating anything here? What about these? Just a bunch of uninteresting books and the wine glass. And this exquisite... It, it might need a candle? We don't have a candle though. And we still want to be able to translate this letter and... How am I supposed to learn Italian now all of a sudden? Um, maybe there's a magic typewriter we can just pop it into. And uh, it will magically, magically uh, translate for us. And this globe, why does it tell us about this globe? Anyway, okay, so clearly there's no solution in here. This is rather unfortunate, it, it has to be said. Um, now I'm stuck again. And you know what the sad thing is? <laughs> I cannot alt-tab out of this game. Uh, even if I wanted to pop uh, on online and check the wiki, uh, I can't do that without saving, exiting, then checking, then starting it up all over again. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's a bit of a pain in the bum hole. It has to be said. Oh, no. Uh, so, so that is one, one thing sort of preventing me from, from doing the whole wiki check thing. A wiki check, the, the walkthrough check. Also, I know it, it's a bit cheatery. It is a bit cheatery, but um, sometimes it has to be done. Sometimes, you know, there's a point of the game, this house is so big. You just, just don't know where to turn anymore. This drawer was stuck beyond hope. Uh, I, I assume beyond hope means this thing was not even going to help us. No, we don't even know what this tool is used for, what it's meant for. Um, okay, I did read that there was those news articles up in the, up in the very attic there. In the darkness, where we need a, a sort of um, our lantern to shine some light on the darkness, uh, there is some dates and things we need to be taking note of. Was it all the way up here? Whoa, 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 that door just opened the wrong way. Okay, yes, in here, there is something we need to take note of. Is it that date? Something here apparently is of, of of importance or interest to us. I did also gather that much. But I don't know what. Maybe something in here. Um, these are the pictures of the flying of the airplane. 
I feel like I'm an actual detective here without a clue of what I'm detecting. There's this date here, 1848. If the date maybe will come in useful, maybe in a safe or something at some point. You see, yeah, this is the this is the one I thought. The address. But we can't do much with it. And the meat oh the meat packers. We have to know something about these meat packers. It's a recipe or something. Uh three meat cuttings. That's all it says. Three meat cuttings. Meat packers, wholesale meats. Beef, lamb, veal, pork. Three meat cuttings. What does it have to do with the price of eggs? I wonder if maybe do you think Barbara could uh, translate the Italian letter for us? You see, this is the place where it's dark and lurking in shadows. And if I could, I would use this. But it doesn't have any oil. So, Akuna Matara. Okay. Uh, yeah, maybe it's just worth uh, giving all Bob's, giving all Bob's a call, and asking if she knows any Italian. That door opened the right way this time, but the other way, look at, watch this, watch this. The handle is on this side of the door, this side, which implies the door will open from here in. But. <laughs> oh, funny that. Oh, uh, that's classic. Okay. Good. Good job, everyone. Good job. All right. So let, I don't know, there's nothing much else up here, uh, as far as I can be aware, unless... Uh, it's just planks and things. This is all locked. The door is locked. But I could see a key on the other side through the keyhole. Oh, really? Um, can we use a piece? Of, we can use a piece of paper. There was quite enough light coming from below the door. So we could... Oh, we can use the pointer thing to push the key out. But we needed to land on, like, maybe a cloth. Not that... I, I don't think... It was clean enough, yeah. We need something like a piece of paper. Maybe we can hide... No. I'm worried we push the key down there, and then uh, it's, it sort of lands on the... You know what? Just pre preemptively, in case we stuff up. Although, it, it'll probably uh, warn us anyway. I'm just going to hit the save over there. And uh, so let's, let's get this. It had... I had to have some means of retrieving the key. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. And I figured a... Oh. I figured if we just put this paper, I would have just used this letter. So what if I want to read it? We can just hi slide it under the door, push the key out onto the piece of paper, and then pull it back again. Oh! Hello! Newspaper! Can we look at it before we use it? Just a piece of newspaper I picked up, yes. Okay, we'll slide that under the door, and then we'll... Oh, yes, we're making progress, people. Bing! And pull out the paper, and retrieve... What? It was impossible to get the key now. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? Ugh. Oh. Ah, oh, we lost the key. What a douche. It was impossible to get the key now. We need like a magnet or something. Ah, what an idiot. Can you do something? No. Can, can I fish it out with a knife? No, I could have hurt myself. Ah, you tool. You know, if I was there, I would come smack you right around the chops for being a complete chop. Uh, what about the other door? Was there, is there anything in this door? The door seemed to be stuck, but we can't we can't look down there either. Okay, so that door's like properly stuck. This one is the only one that had a key in it, but old old Dicky Michael over here had to go and stuff it up for us because he's a douchebag. Ah. So now I've got a piece of newspaper, which I guess I could burn, couldn't I? I could burn a piece of newspaper. Um, although I don't see what the point of that would be. There's also something strange with that room upstairs. Well, I wouldn't even call it a room, is it? It's just a, a dead end with a window. Shall we go have another look? Quick look? Just a quickie? 
Ooh. I didn't see this window last time. So we've got, uh, uh, again, the black sky. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Uh, but we've got an open window here. Maybe a breeze will blow in? Oh, there's the sky. Maybe a breeze will blow in and, uh, and show us the way. And then this was the other window that we opened. So we've now... What is up with this, these windows? This one's open. Okay. Can I not open this one? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. But that one's open and... My gosh, it's a long way up. And now we've got this... Look, we've got this crack in the wall. There was a large crack in one of the walls in the tower. Do you think there's anything in it? Wasn't useful. Uh, can we listen to the crack? No? Uh, I have no other ideas here. Um, just like a pencil on it. I don't have a need to write on that. Oh, I guess. Who would want to write on a, on a wall? Eh, kids, I guess. And then there's this window, which, again, the black sky of day is just fantastic. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at here. And there's nothing to inspect closer. Oh, I thought we had a breakthrough there. I really did, with that whole key story. Um, but Dickie Michael, oh, what a, oh, oh, irritates me. He irritates me. Possible to get the key now, fantastic. Dumbass. I toch. Okay, can can we get in here? No, nothing. All right, let's go give Bob's a call. She's our only hope now of being able to translate this letter. Uh, maybe we have to send it off to her. I don't know. I do not know. Let's uh, let's get down to the, the old telephone. It's very dark down there, isn't it? Very dark. Let us through, please. Got my cup of coffee here, because this is a game where you need your cup of coffee. Uh. Okay, telephone. Bob, help us out, please. Hello? Hey, it's me, Bobby, dear. I need to ask you a favor. I found a letter here, and I'm curious about it. It's in Italian. Do you think you could translate it for me? My, Mr. Athwaite, are we being naughty? Mrs. Styles. Yes, yes, of course I can. Just send me the letter, and I'll put hands to work as soon as I have it here. Excellent. Hmm. I wonder if the postman will come by. I feel like I'm the last person alive on the whole planet here. But have you told the post office in Northbury that you're moving to Blackwood Manor? Yes, Jerry did. I just hope they don't forget about me, that's all. In any case, thank you. You're such a dear. That's what I'm here for. Actually, that's what I'm paying you for. Anyway, I'll go and try mailing that letter. I'll be standing by for action. Thanks. Goodbye. Good luck. Well, there we go. So our phone call to old Bob has paid off. So now we can scribble an envelope. Okay, that's not going to... Put that in there. Scribble. No point writing the address on it until I have something to mail. Yes, you, oh, we did. I think we did. It's got an address on it. The envelope had the letter and was properly addressed. Well, there we go. So let's go and pop that in the mailbox and hope that uh, Postman Pat comes along and uh, collects our letter. It was looking like such a nice day when I was upstairs. Now all of a sudden it was all cloudy. Gosh, such temperamental weather. Okay, let's get to the post box. And pop in our letter. Oh. In there. Thank you. Postman Pat, can I ring a bell for you? Come come get my letter. Um. Anything in this car? No, I can't drive anywhere. And whoops, that's my phone. Let me just silence that one. I apologize for that. Um, yeah. All right, so we at least at least we've got the letter sort of uh, there waiting to be sent. Do we have anything worth going anywhere else? We've got this newspaper. Mm, we've got a lock on that one, which we cannot unlock. And we've got nothing much here to help us. We need to find oil for our lantern. 
And I guess we won't find anything in these drums here. And, um... Yeah, I'm not seeing much. We do have a newspaper now, though. I wonder what we can do with the newspaper. No! Ah, I'm no pyromaniac! <laughs> Alright, good. good. Good job. Let me just clean it. It's clean enough, apparently. It's a clean newspaper. No dirt on it, which is always nice, I guess. Uh, you never know with newspapers, you know, especially one that's been lying around in, like, a hospital waiting room. Probably covered in nastiness. Ugh. All the magazines. Those magazines. There's... I've been to waiting rooms. I'm sure you've experienced this too, where you sit, you go, you sit down, you wait for the doctor, there's a pile of magazines uh, there waiting for you to read and keep you entertained while you wait. And if you look at the date on those magazines, there's magazines from 10 years ago, still just sitting there. Um, and they're all that sort of generic. For us, we've got one called the Heetgenoot, which is Afrikaans, or there's an English version called the You, You magazine. And it's, I don't know, just general stories, people have, uh, you know, had like, quadruplets or something magical I don't know um, uh, but is there nothing in the fireplace no just checking uh, but yeah and 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 so there's those there's also a couple, uh, a couple times uh, you find these celebrity gossip things like heat or um, what are some of the other ones out there there's this e entertainment or e news or, or whatever uh, magazines, which are just really a utter pile of poop, in my opinion. I don't even bother reading those things. <sighs> but some people are fascinated by them, and they will continually uh, subscribe or purchase these things like weekly to find out what is the next color speedo of, uh, of uh, I don't know, pff, Cameron Diaz or something. Just not interesting to me. Um... Okay, so Bob has got our letter with the Italian mail. Is it worth giving, trying to give her a call and say, has she got it yet? <laughs> Might be a bit soon. I don't think the postal service would have uh, sent it that quickly, but off we go. Let, oh. Oh, I wasn't paying her that much after all. Okay, let's, what about Jerry? Anything for it? Oh, it's ringing. Hello? Jerry, all the fuses seem to be fine. What should we do now? Go get some candles. You're joking, right? No, I'm not. I'm calling this guy right away, and I'm afraid he won't be able to stop by until tomorrow. He was already driving there today as a personal favor. There must be something you can do. I don't feel comfortable walking around this place with dim lights. I barely know it. Michael, come on. Where's your sense of adventure? It would be like you were living in a past century. Exquisite Victorian house, lit by candles. I wouldn't give to be in your place. I left my sense of adventuring back in London, thanks. I have work to do. Then do it. What else could you ask for? Now you have the chance to experience firsthand one of your period pieces. Oh, very funny. Try getting that guy over here as soon as possible. Don't worry, I will. Make sure you find some candles before it gets too dark. Yes, candles. Bye. <laughs> Immediately after hanging out with Jerry, I realized that I had already explored enough to determine there wouldn't be any candles inside the house. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> uh, so where am I going to find candles? He doesn't say. Uh, most probably in the garage? Or in the... Um, what is the time now? Uh, it, it doesn't tell us. Uh, maybe there's something to do here? I bet you there's like a, a dark, uh, something hidden in one of these pots and it's dark. A tiny vase almost hidden in the corner complete with modest furnishings in the lobby. Uh, that's the oriental one. Can I open up the, the clock? It says it's now four. Oh, it's four o'clock. So we have progressed time along a little bit. Well, that's good. That's something at least. But it is getting late. We have no candles. We have no power. And we have not much else to do. We have to wait for Bob to translate that letter for us. So, I think we can stop now. I'm going to take another peek at the wiki uh, for next uh, episode. Just to have us find something more for us to do and progress the story. Because I know this seems to be a very slow 
It's a very slow game. Um, hopefully my banter and random ramblings uh, can entertain you a little bit, <laughs> a little bit longer. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Please hit a like, do subscribe, and I will see you uh, soon for the next episode. So until then, I love you all, and bye.